During Hollywood's golden age, stars appeared lovely on screen amid the glitz and glamour, but their off-camera actions were far from graceful. Some of their behavior was so scandalous that they could be canceled if it happened today. So without further ado, here are 25 biggest jerks in Hollywood history. 1. Marlon Brando First up, we have Marlon Brando, who was one of the most influential actors of the 20th century, pioneering method acting in film, with his performances in classics like A Streetcar Named Desire and On the Waterfront. His talent was undeniable, but so was his stubbornness. Behind the scenes, Marlon Brando was known to be difficult and sometimes downright uncooperative. He made it a habit to clash with directors and producers and was notorious for not memorizing his lines, sometimes even refusing to follow directions. During the filming of Apocalypse Now, Brando arrived on set unprepared, having not read the source material, Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness, or even the script thoroughly. This caused expensive delays and forced director Francis Ford Coppola to alter production plans radically. Brando himself admitted in interviews that he became increasingly disillusioned with Hollywood, describing it as a business that makes prostitutes out of people. This disenchantment might explain some of his seemingly unprofessional behavior, as he often seemed to be rebelling against the very industry that made him a star. 2. Clark Gable Hailed as the King of Hollywood, Gable was celebrated majorly for his iconic role as Rhett Butler in Gone with the Wind. His charm and commanding presence made him a beloved figure in the hearts of millions, and his performances continue to symbolize Hollywood's golden era till today. Despite this public persona, Clark Gable had a complex off-screen life that included less than admirable behaviors. He was infamous for his affairs with numerous Hollywood actresses, which often complicated his professional and personal relationships, causing his attitude towards certain co-stars and crew members to be dismissive and arrogant. For instance, it was reported that during the filming of Gone with the Wind, Gable insisted on the firing of director George Cooker, allegedly because Cooker paid more attention to Vivian Lee and Olivia de Havilland, which did not sit well with Gable's sense of star status. So, where did all the charm go? While he was capable of immense warmth and charisma, Gable was also a product of his environment, a fiercely competitive Hollywood, where egos often clashed and personal lives frequently became a public spectacle. His actions, often driven by the standards and pressures of the industry at the time, can be seen as a defense mechanism, but mostly a flaw. 3. Charlie Chaplin Now, we can all agree that Charlie Chaplin was a cinematic genius renowned for his beloved characters, which brought laughter and joy to film lovers worldwide, but all that ended on screen. His personal life was complicated and often at odds with the moral standards of his time and certainly by today's standards. Chief of them all was his relationships with much younger women and his multiple marriages to teenagers were particularly contentious. For example, he married Mildred Harris and Lita Gray when they were 16 and Una O'Neill when she was just 18, while he was significantly older. These relationships, combined with acrimonious divorces and public court cases, painted a picture of a man who was far from the lovable persona he often portrayed on screen. His political beliefs also led to scrutiny and conflict, particularly during the McCarthy era, when his left-leaning stances prompted accusations of communism, eventually leading to his exile from the United States. His later films, such as A King in New York, 1957, also commented directly on the paranoia and cultural suppression of the McCarthy era, expressing his continued commitment to social and political critique through his art. 4. Betty Davis Betty Davis was an iconic figure in American cinema, often leaning towards intense and powerful roles during her career that spanned over 60 years. Her talent earned her two Academy Awards and a legacy as one of Hollywood's greatest actresses. However, not everybody saw Bette Davis as just a talented actress. She was also incredibly difficult to work with. Davis was infamous for her fiery temperament and sharp tongue, characteristics that often led to conflicts with directors, producers, and co-stars. Her relentless pursuit of perfection and control over her roles and scenes sometimes resulted in strained working relationships during the filming of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Davis's feud with co-star Joan Crawford became legendary with the rivalry not only becoming personal, but intensified on set. 
with various reports of Davis kicking Crawford in the head during one scene, adding real tension to their on-screen battles. So what really happened with Betty Davis off the camera? Was her difficult behavior merely a manifestation of her dedication to her craft? Or was it something more cynical? Davis herself often spoke about the high standards she set for herself and expected from others. Her forthright nature and unwillingness to compromise her artistic vision made her a formidable figure in an industry that was, at the time, still dominated by male executives and filmmakers. Four, Joan Crawford. As one of Hollywood's most enduring and talented actresses, Joan Crawford transformed from a flapper of the silent era into a respected, dramatic actress. Crawford's ability to adapt to changing film styles and audiences helped her maintain a successful career in an industry notorious for its fleeting nature. However, behind the glitz and glamour, Crawford was often described as a controlling and sometimes cruel figure. The most notorious allegations came from her adopted daughter, Christina Crawford, who published a memoir titled Mommy Dearest in 1978. In it, Christina depicted Joan as a manipulative, abusive mother who put her need for control above the well-being of her children. This portrayal shocked the public and stained Crawford's legacy with accusations of using wire hangers for beatings and other forms of emotional and physical abuse. Although the truth likely lies somewhere in between family dynamics and the pressures of stardom, friends and acquaintances have provided differing accounts, with some suggesting Christina's claims were overstated, while others confirmed that Jones. 5. Errol Flynn Errol Flynn was the typical swashbuckler of Hollywood's golden age. His charismatic screen presence and athletic prowess made him a natural in roles that required a blend of heroism, romance, and adventure. Flynn's image as a charming rogue endeared him to audiences worldwide, especially women, making him one of the most popular stars of his time. Off the screen, Flynn's personal life was marred by scandal and behavior that earned him a reputation as a real-life rogue. His memoir titled My Wicked Wicked Ways aptly captures his approach to living a life filled with excessive drinking, brawling, and womanizing. More seriously, Flynn was tried for inappropriate touching in 1942 after two underage girls accused him of intimate assault. Though he was acquitted, the trial was a media sensation and tainted his public image. Throughout his career, his personal escapades continued to overshadow his professional achievements. After the peak of his fame, Flynn's career declined as his lifestyle took a toll on his health and appearance. By the 1950s, his roles had shifted from the heroic figures of his youth to darker characters that mirrored his personal battles. 6. Frank Sinatra We can't have a conversation about the most influential and acclaimed singers and actors of the 20th century and not mention Frank Sinatra. With a career that spanned six decades, the hitmaker was known for his smooth voice blended in timeless hits like My Way and Fly Me to the Moon. However, not everyone was over the moon about his life off the stage and away from the cameras. Sinatra had a very volatile temperament, and his association with questionable figures like Sam Giancana, who had notorious ties to the Mafia, did not do him any favors as he even got investigated by the FBI. His temper led to numerous public and private altercations, and his relationships with women were often described as abusive. In his lifetime, he married four women, including Ava Gardner and Mia Farrow, and all ended in varying shades of scandal. After his early film career, Sinatra continued to reinvent himself, but the damage had already been done. 7. Judy Garland Who doesn't love Judy Garland? Her incredible talent and vulnerability on screen captivated audiences around the world, and her voice could convey a spectrum of emotions, from joy to deep sorrow, and was indeed to die for. But as the endearing child star was publicly known to be, Garland's life was marked by a series of personal and professional struggles that sometimes led to behavior which could be described as difficult. She struggled with addiction to various medications which were initially prescribed to her as a young actress at MGM to help her cope with the demands of her career. This addiction affected her reliability, leading to instances of unprofessional behavior such as lateness, absences, and unpredictability on set. 
Garland's issues were compounded by a turbulent personal life, including multiple marriages and financial instability, which often placed her in the tabloids. These challenges made her difficult to work with as she battled the rug, doubt through the highs and lows that came with her personal demons. Later in her life, Garland made a significant comeback as a concert performer, and she continued to perform until her death in 1969. 8. Catherine Hepburn Behind her polished Ivy League demeanor, Hepburn was known to be fiercely opinionated and uncompromising, traits that came off as abrasive in an industry that often valued compliance and deference, especially from women. Her outspoken nature and refusal to conform to Hollywood's expectations, such as not wearing makeup in public or refusing to participate in the typical Hollywood publicity machine, were seen as full-blown acts of rebellion and sometimes arrogant. Now, we all know that Katharine Hepburn was a trailblazer in American cinema, and she was celebrated for her fierce independence and sharp wit, both on and off the screen. However, not everybody found Katharine Hepburn's character charming. Hepburn herself spoke about the importance of staying true to oneself, which, in her case, meant not bending to the whims of studio bosses or altering her personality to fit more traditional female roles. Her approach often led to conflicts with directors and co-stars who were not used to such an assertive presence, especially from a woman during those times. 9. Orson Welles We remember Orson Welles as a prodigious talent whose directorial debut, Citizen Kane, is frequently hailed as one of the greatest films ever made, but what you may not know is that behind his genius and charisma, Welles was often described as difficult and egocentric traits that frequently put him at odds with Hollywood's studio system and even his own collaborators. His insistence on complete creative control and his disregard for budgetary constraints were legendary, leading to numerous conflicts with producers and financiers. His projects were known for extensive delays and going over budget, which marred his reputation in the industry and made it difficult for him to secure funding as his career progressed. But what really stood out was how Wells's colleagues often recounted tales of his stubbornness and the high standards he set for himself and everyone around him, which could explain some of his contentious relationships. However, his brilliance also made him uncompromising, as he believed strongly in his artistic vision and fought relentlessly to realize it, sometimes to the detriment of his personal and professional relationships. 10. Talola Bankhead Bankhead was as much a star for her acting prowess as she was for her larger-than-life personality. Her wit and flamboyance made her a beloved figure in the arts, and she remained a highly quotable and iconic figure throughout her career. You could always tell it was Tallulah Bankhead because of her magnetic stage presence and her distinctive husky voice, which captivated audiences both on Broadway and in Hollywood films. Tallulah Bankhead's offstage antics made people wary of her, Bankhead was often perceived as a jerk due to her penchant for speaking her mind in a manner that could be abrasive and dismissive. She engaged in frequent drinking, smoking, and celebrated promiscuity that often spilled over into her professional environment, making her notoriously challenging to work with at times. She was unapologetic about her lifestyle choices, which clashed with the more conservative norms of her time and alienated some of her peers and collaborators. She embraced her image as a scandalous figure, seeing it as a part of her charm. Her behavior, while shocking to many, was also a form of rebellion against the restrictive expectations for women in entertainment during her era. 11. Barbara Stanwyck Barbara Stanwyck could play any character at all. That's how versatile and enduring she was. Stanwyck garnered acclaim for her ability to portray complex women with depth and authenticity. She was equally adept in both dramatic roles and comedies, but, don't be mistaken, she was known for her no-nonsense demeanor and iron-willed independence. Stanwyck could also be incredibly demanding, and her perfectionism and meticulous attention to detail made her one of the most respected actresses in the business. Still, these traits also led to tensions with co-stars and directors who did not meet her high standards. She was reputed to be formidable, often intimidating, younger actors and crew members with her sharp tongue and uncompromising attitude. Her upbringing in a broken home and early struggles in the industry taught her the importance of self-reliance, which contributed to her demanding nature. 
Stanwyck herself often spoke about the pressures of working in Hollywood and the need to maintain a certain level of professionalism at all times. 12. Humphrey Bogart Known for his moody nature, Bogart was often described as a cynic who could be quite harsh, especially when under the influence of alcohol. His sharp wit could turn cutting, and he was known to engage in conflicts with studio executives, directors, and co-stars whom he felt were not up to his standards, or who clashed with his straightforward, often blunt approach. Humphrey Bogart is one of Hollywood's timeless icons, immortalized by his roles in Casablanca and The Maltese Falcon. Known for portraying characters with a tough exterior and a heart of gold, friends and colleagues often noted that Bogart's tough demeanor masked a highly principled and profoundly loyal individual. He was known for his integrity and for standing up against what he saw as unfair treatment of his peers, particularly during the political witch hunts of the McCarthy era. His enduring popularity suggests that, regardless of his flaws, his contributions to cinema were profound and lasting. 13. Tyrone Power One of the most popular leading men in Hollywood during the 1930s and 1940s. Known for his striking good looks and charismatic screen presence, Power starred in a range of films, from adventures like The Mark of Zorro to romantic dramas such as The Razor's Edge, but many would say Tyrone Power was far from the ideal gentleman. Power was known in private circles for his reputation as a ladies' man, often leading to scandals. His multiple marriages and affairs were the subject of much gossip, and he was often perceived as careless and selfish in his dealings, particularly in how he managed relationships. His upbringing in a theatrical environment pushed him into the limelight at a young age, shaping his personality and perhaps his approach to life. Power's colleagues described him as fundamentally a good person who struggled with the expectations placed upon him by his fame and his family legacy in acting. Tyrone Power's career was cut tragically short when he died at the age of 44 from a heart attack while filming Solomon and Sheba in Spain. This sudden end left many reflecting on his contributions to cinema and the personal struggles he faced, but his legacy in film remains that of a beloved actor whose star power and personal life were as dramatic off-screen as they were on it. 14. Edward Robinson Not many experienced Edward G. Robinson's warm side, in fact, he is regarded as the biggest jerk by people who encountered him. Known for his strong opinions and forthright manner, Robinson could sometimes come across as unreasonable and uncompromising. His demand for respect and professionalism on set walked on the edge of dictatorship, leading to strained relationships with colleagues. Additionally, Robinson was deeply involved in political activism, particularly in advocating for anti-fascist causes before and during World War II which, while admirable, also made him a contentious figure during the McCarthy era, affecting his professional life. He also became immortalized in films for portraying tough, no-nonsense characters in classic gangster films like Little Caesar. With his distinct voice and memorable screen presence, Robinson became synonymous with the genre, crafting a niche that made him one of the most recognizable faces in cinema during the 1930s and 1940s. Despite being blacklisted during the McCarthy era, Robinson continued to work in theater and eventually returned to film and television, where he remained a respected figure until his death. 15. James Cagney Few stars shined as bright as James Cagney in classic Hollywood. His dynamic performances in gangster films such as Public Enemy and Rapid Fire Delivery left a mark on the film industry, earning him acclaim as one of the greatest actors in film history. Despite his professional success, Cagney was known for his fiery temper and confrontational nature. He was fiercely independent and often clashed with studio bosses over contract issues and artistic control, which led to a reputation for being difficult to work with. His insistence on fairness and his refusal to be typecast or pushed around by the powerful studio system of his time occasionally made him seem stubborn and aggressive. He was one of the first Hollywood stars to successfully break away from the oppressive studio contract system, gaining more control over his roles and career. This battle for independence was not just for his own benefit, but also paved the way for future actors. His enduring legacy in the film industry suggests that, in spite of any off-screen conflicts, Cagney was deeply respected for his contributions to cinema and his pioneering efforts in actor independence. 
His work not only entertained millions, but also helped to shape the landscape of American film. 16. Mae West Mae West was a trailblazer in the entertainment world, famous for her witty one-liners and bold persona that challenged the conservative norms she was born into. West was not only a talented actress, but also a skilled playwright and screenwriter, credited with pushing the boundaries of content in American films like She Done Him Wrong and I'm No Angel. Her confident, unabashed style made her a symbol of liberation and a pioneering figure in advocating for the empowerment of women in an industry and society that were deeply patriarchal. To achieve all she did at the time, she had to have a dominant personality, which was often seen as controlling in her professional relationships. She insisted on having final approval over her film's scripts, casting, and production details, which led some to view her as overbearing and difficult to work with. Her hands-on approach and reluctance to compromise on her artistic vision sometimes resulted in clashes with directors and studio executives who were unaccustomed to an actress asserting such control. 17. Ava Gardner Few Hollywood stars were as glamorous as Ava Gardner. Her sultry screen presence and talent earned her acclaim, making her one of the defining actresses of her time. Gardner's personal life was as colorful as her career, with high-profile marriages to celebrities like Mickey Rooney, Artie Shaw, and Frank Sinatra. She ensured she was constantly in the public eye, but off-camera, Gardner could be incredibly difficult to work with. Her relationships and frequent indulgence in the nightlife often led to erratic behavior and conflicts with co-stars and directors. She was uncompromising in her demands and unapologetic about her lifestyle, which included heavy drinking and smoking. Despite her challenging demeanor, many who knew her well spoke of her immense generosity, vulnerability, and pressure as a woman in a highly scrutinized and competitive industry. In her later work, after the peak of her career in the 1950s, Ava Gardner took on roles that were more reflective and subdued compared to her earlier, more vivacious parts. Gardner continued to work in film and television into the 1980s, although her roles were fewer as she chose to live a more private life abroad in Spain and London. Gardner remains a figure of enduring fascination, a woman who lived boldly and by her own rules, leaving behind a legacy that continues to captivate and provoke discussion about the nature of stardom and femininity in Hollywood. If you're enjoying this deep dive into the lives of your favorite celebrities, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating stories. 18. John Wayne, known as The Duke, and for his countless roles in westerns and war films. His portrayal of rugged, masculine characters made him a symbol of American grit and valor across a career spanning five decades. Wayne's on-screen persona as a man of few words but decisive action earned him the adoration of millions. However, not everybody saw John Wayne as a hero. Notorious for his conservative political views, Wayne often expressed opinions that were at odds with the changing social climate of his time. His comments on race and his support for controversial political stances, including his outspoken advocacy for conservative causes during the rise of the civil rights movement, led many to view him as out of touch or outright offensive. In particular, his interview with Playboy magazine in 1971 contained remarks that were seen as racially insensitive, which have since overshadowed aspects of his legacy. Wayne's attitudes and actions reflected a significant segment of America during his heyday, resonating with many who shared his views. Yet, to others, these same views made him a figure of division, particularly as American society moved toward greater social liberalism. Wayne's final film, in which he played an aging gunfighter facing his mortality, was seen as a reflective nod to his life and career, grappling with the inevitability of change and the end of an era. These later roles offered a more complex picture of Wayne, suggesting a depth beyond his tough exterior and what he hadn't seen before. 19. Robert Mitchum On screen, Robert Mitchum was one of Hollywood's ultimate bad boys, celebrated for his deep, commanding voice and sleepy-eyed charisma, but behind the scenes there was more to this Hollywood legend than meets the eye. Robert was an American actor who had a rebellious nature, often finding himself at odds with legal authorities. 
1948 arrest for possession of marijuana led to a brief stint in jail, a scandal that would have ended many careers in that conservative era, though it ultimately seemed to enhance his nonconformist image. Mitchum was famously indifferent to fame and the trappings of celebrity status, often appearing dismissive or even disdainful of Hollywood's pomp and circumstance, which some interpreted as sheer arrogance. Mitchum's apparent nonchalance about his career was in stark contrast to the intensity and precision he brought to his roles. His behavior could be seen as a form of resistance against the highly controlled studio system. Mitchum was also known for his sharp wit and was described by those close to him as surprisingly intelligent and well-read, suggesting a depth that went largely unrecognized by the public and the media. 20. Gene Kelly Did you know that behind Gene Kelly's smile and kindness, there was his perfectionism and demanding nature? Gene Kelly was a revolutionary force in Hollywood, and his innovative work in musicals like Singing in the Rain and An American in Paris changed the way dance was filmed and perceived in cinema. However, Kelly could be incredibly tough on his co-stars and crew members. His insistence on precision and excellence led to instances where he was perceived as harsh or overly critical, particularly during grueling dance rehearsals. Co-stars like Debbie Reynolds in Singing in the Rain experienced this side of Kelly as she recounted how disrespectful he was and how he pushed her to the limits of her physical capabilities. Kelly's drive for perfection was undoubtedly rooted in a deep passion for dance and filmmaking, but this sometimes came at the cost of his relationships with others in the industry and friends outside of it. Yet, his genius and demanding nature brought out the best in their performances, evident in films like Hello, Dolly, starring Barbara Streisand, where he continued to innovate, exploring new ways to integrate dance into different media. His story compels us to consider how often great art requires great sacrifice, not only from the artists themselves, but sometimes from those who work with them. 21. Ja Ja Gabor Ja Ja Gabor was famed not just for her acting roles, but also for her flamboyant lifestyle and witty quips. Her appearances in films like Moulin Rouge and Queen of Outer Space were memorable, but it was her charismatic presence in the media and her high-profile social life that truly made her the star we know and remember. Ja Ja became synonymous with luxury and was often seen as the epitome of beauty. Ja Ja Gabor married nine times, often saying she was a hopeless romantic who loved the excitement and allure of falling in love, coupled with the belief that marriage was the ultimate commitment despite her long-term struggles to maintain these relationships. She was often perceived as excessive and superficial. Her interactions with the law, including a famous incident where she slapped a Beverly Hills police officer during a traffic stop, painted her as uncouth. These episodes contributed to a public perception of Gabor as being somewhat of a diva in real life, where her actions were seen as reflections of arrogance rather than mere celebrity eccentricities. Gabor and her last husband, Frederick Prince von Anhalt, adopted at least 10 adult men who paid them up to $2 million to become legal descendants of Princess Marie Augusta von Anhalt. Gabor's life was undoubtedly complex, filled with both genuine charm and mostly self-indulgence. She often played into her image as a diva, and now that we think about it, might have been a professional strategy to remain relevant in the ever-changing world of celebrity. In her later work, after the peak of her film career, Jia Jia frequently appeared on television shows and in cameo roles that often parodied her public persona. She embraced her image as a glamorous relic of a bygone era and seemed to revel in the attention, whether positive or, or negative. Her appearances on talk shows and in various small TV and film roles kept her in the public eye well into her later years. 22. Mickey Rooney Mickey Rooney was a prolific actor whose career spanned nearly nine decades, making him one of the most enduring figures in American cinema history. Starting as a child actor, Rooney became famous for his role as Andy Hardy in a series of films that epitomized American family values and adolescent innocence. Off camera, Rooney was known for being mean and abusive, especially after eight marriages and numerous affairs, which often overshadowed his professional achievements. His behavior towards women and his frequent impulsive marriages contributed to a reputation for being complicated and unreliable in his relationships. Moreover, 
Rooney's temper and ego were said to cause friction with co-stars and collaborators, who found him challenging to work with. Rooney himself has admitted in various interviews that he struggled with the pitfalls of early fame and found it challenging to manage his finances and personal life. His struggles with addiction also played a role in his erratic behavior, which he worked to overcome in his later years. In his later work, after the peak of his early fame, Rooney continued to take on varied roles that showcased his broad range. He appeared in television shows and Broadway plays and continued to act in films. His role in The Black Stallion in 1979 earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor, proving that his talent could shine through despite his problems. 23. Bob Hope Bob Hope was an iconic figure in American entertainment. He was renowned for his quick wit, perfect comic timing, and extensive career that included radio, television, film, and numerous USO tours supporting American troops. Hope's dedication to entertaining U.S. military personnel made him a beloved national figure, and his humanitarian efforts were celebrated with multiple awards, including the Congressional Gold Medal, but he was also a controversial figure off-screen. Not everybody saw Bob Hope as the selfless entertainer portrayed in the media. Behind the scenes, Hope was sometimes seen as a demanding perfectionist who was difficult to work with. He was known for maintaining strict control over his productions and expected high professionalism and dedication from his co-workers, which some found overbearing. Additionally, his commitment to his career often came at the expense of his relationships, leading to rumors of infidelity and a somewhat detached family life despite a public image that emphasized his loyalty and generosity. Hope's relentless work ethic and desire to maintain his status at the top of the entertainment industry drove him to work tirelessly, often at the cost of personal and sometimes professional relationships. His persona, both on and off stage, was complex and multifaceted, with a fierce dedication to his craft that manifested as rigidity and insensitivity. 24. Bill Cosby Affectionately known as Uncle Bill to millions, Bill Cosby was once celebrated as one of America's most beloved entertainers, primarily through The Cosby Show. This show entertained millions and significantly influenced American culture by reshaping the portrayal of African American families on television. The once revered stand-up comedian, actor, and author had a career that spanned several decades. However, not everybody would continue to regard Bill Cosby in such a positive light. In stark contrast to his public persona as a warm, wise, and jovial father figure, Cosby was accused by numerous women of intimate assault. These accusations, which he denied, were initially slow to gain widespread attention, partly due to his influence and the beloved character he portrayed in the media. The situation drastically changed in the mid-2010s when more women came forward leading to a public reevaluation of his legacy and resulting in his conviction in 2018 for aggravated indecent assault, although this conviction was later overturned in 2021 due to procedural issues. The public and legal scrutiny revealed a pattern of behavior that conflicted dramatically with Cosby's carefully curated public image. The testimonies and subsequent trials painted a picture of a man who used his power and status to exploit and harm others, leading to his infamous fall from grace. His career came to an abrupt halt as the allegations led to a broader societal conversation about abuse of power, victim advocacy, and accountability. Networks pulled reruns of The Cosby Show and other works from the air, and numerous institutions rescinded honors and titles that had been awarded to him throughout his career. Bill Cosby's legacy is now one of profound contradiction. Caught between his contributions to entertainment and culture and his criminal actions. 25. Johnny Carson Johnny Carson was an undisputed king of late night television whose quick wit and impeccable comedic timing made The Tonight Show. Starring Johnny Carson a staple in American households for over three decades. Carson was celebrated for his ability to connect with his guests and audience, bringing a blend of humor, charm, and ease that made his show the benchmark for future generations of talk shows. His influence on comedy and late night television was monumental, shaping the format and style that have become standard today. Behind the scenes, Carson was known to be a very private individual, often coming across as aloof and inaccessible. He had a reputation for being icy toward colleagues and staff, 
maintaining a distance that could be interpreted as cold or dismissive. His personal life, which included four marriages and several very public divorces, also painted a picture of someone who struggled with interpersonal relationships. Additionally, Carson was known to have a temper and could be incredibly sharp and cutting, especially if he felt his privacy was being invaded or his professionalism challenged. Carson found it difficult to open up to people and preferred solitude, often at odds with his public persona as a jolly and engaging host. His off-camera reserve and guarded nature suggest a complex personality that struggled with the separation of public adoration and personal isolation. For more behind the scenes, look at your favorite stars. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.